behind the house and uh, maybe around the neighborhood a little bit until dark. Uh, I want to make y'all a video today of some kind. May not find a whole lot, but we'll try and see. My uh, my ankles and feet are swollen. I didn't want to get away from the house too far. Plus that, I've been having some trouble uh, with my with my uh, brakes and on my truck. They're uh, cutting into my, I think into my wheel drums, and they're causing my my truck to mess up. So I didn't want to get off too far with my truck today. Uh, you know, when it rains, it pours, but that's just the way it goes. But anyway, uh. We're going to get out here and walk around and see what we can find up and down the road and sidewalk strips, one thing or another. Not go too far off, but we'll be right here in the neighborhood block. And uh, I'll get back with you if I find anything good. My first clad dime anyway. Get back with you if I find anything else. Well, I went out for a while this evening and I didn't do too good. Didn't, do, didn't find a whole lot. And uh, so I just, you know... Maybe we can go out again tomorrow for a little while in the morning over soccer field or park or somewhere. I just, uh, I've got my brakes on my, my truck are rubbing into my wheel drum. You can hear them rubbing real bad. And, uh, and it's causing my truck to, when I go to, to stop, it's causing my truck to act like it's wanting to hang up. I don't know if it's cutting into them. I don't know if it, what it's doing, but. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it don't break down on me somewhere. So I didn't get off too far today off in the truck. And, uh, but the main reason I'm uh, doing this little talk with you right now, uh, I wanted to thank uh, Ed from Cape Cod. He saw, sent me these two coins, uh, Walking Liberty Half Dollar and a Mercury Dime. And uh, I sure thank you, Ed, for that. that that's really nice. Really nice silver coins there. Um, I've already, I'm probably going to wind up selling the silver coins I got. I got 30, and I'm mad to take them to Shreveport to some coin, uh, you know, stores down there and, and wind up getting, what, two or three or four times the amount for them. That's what Joe said he's been getting. So I'm mad to pick them up, get them gathered up, and, and take, take him down there, try to get some of these bills caught up or something. It ain't going to help much, but it might, every little bit helps, I guess. But anyway, I just wanted to tell y'all that. I did get out and film a little bit this evening, but it wasn't much. And I wanted to add this here, though, uh, showing you the coins that Ed sent me. And, and the other day, I was going and rolling some uh, pennies, cleaning some pennies, and rolling some pennies. And I thought I had put an Indian head penny in one of and that, and that, uh, I keep my, my uh, copper pennies memorial sense in a coffee, a big coffee container. And I thought I'd, I'd put, accidentally threw an old Indian head I found in there. And uh, when I was cleaning them coins and getting ready to roll, I wound up and I found that Indian head. But you can't make it out, it's real bad worn. Looked like a 1903 or, or maybe 1883, I, I can't tell. But uh, it's an Indian head and I'm glad I got it back out of them coins before I sold them off. So anyway, well, and I found a couple of wheat cents in with them memorial cents too that I'd accidentally thrown in there. So, uh, it's Lula saying good luck with your honey and God bless. Love. 